Hello people, welcome back to Power Channel again. So today we're back and with a big G not a big GT online update at all. So today is where the D small DLC got released. We got 50 new class, no properties, new missions on Yacht, new Solomon missions. I'll explain all that later and also some weekly update for this week. Let's get right into it. So this week we received something pretty you know pretty cool. So this week we have 15 new vehicles, which is First of all, I'm gonna go to the website, and to this week's podium vehicle is the Emperor ETR1. You guys can go to the casino and win it. But the most important thing in this video is the new vehicles. In Sound San Andreas, we have five vehicles: the Mike Plus Supernumbra FF, no, that stands for Fast and Furious, <laughs> and the BF Club, Dondry Land Stalker XL, the Imponte B to Dukes. Canis Seminole Frontier. So these are this car is kind of cool, but I don't know about all the, these other cars. So there's five cars in South of St. Andreas Motorsports, and let's go on Doc T. So in Doc T's we have the yacht. There's no anything new on the yachts to modify, but just telling it is basically really important because there's gonna be missions on it, like new co-op missions with some of the yachts as well, and I'll get to that later. And on the Legendary Mode Sport, we have four new vehicles which are really pricey. The Benefactor BR8, with a cool Formula 1 car. The Class A DR1, Lampadati Tigon, a futuristic car. And in Vettero Corquette D10. So basically, this is a new Corvette C8, I think. It's a pretty cool car. I got all of these. If you guys want some customization video, don't forget to comment down in the section below. Tell me guys what you want. And lastly, you go to Benny's. We have another six new Benny vehicles been upgraded by the Gauntlet, which are we already predicted. Nevada Yuga <laughs> and Benefactor Glenn, the Class Yosemite, Burpee Peyote, Albany Manana. So these are, can be all customized as Benny's vehicle, which is pretty cool. That is for this week's um, new vehicles. Let's go on to the other stuff, shall we? So. On the super yacht, we have um, six new co-op missions which you can do by yourself or with four other people. And so basically, I have a yacht, but if I want a new model, change to a new model, basically there's going to be, you can, you can, I didn't, I just found out this new, if you choose, if you have a yacht before, and you also can, you can change to other models as well, which is, you know, it has a discount right now this week, so you can buy it for really cheap, like, you want to change Aquarius, and you pay 1.4 million, blah, blah blah stuff like that, different models and stuff like that. I'm on the um, Orion right now, which is a really, you know, normal one. But yeah, the yachts are on sale, so yeah, you can go buy that straight away. They're all on 30% sale. Thank you for that. And then we also have new business battle modes, so there's no new kind of missions we can do for the business battle, which is really, really cool. And then also this week we also have something new that Rockstar Games added to the G Online community, which are nine new open wheel races, with including these new supercars, of course. And I'll show you where it is. So it's in races, and you go to open wheel, I think. And there's gonna be open wheel races here, or not? If it, it's gonna be, yeah, the open wheels here. So they are the they are on double money as well. So all the new game models that Rockstar Games added are all on double money. Obviously, that's what. So these, I think, are all the new ones. Uh, that is the new open race tracks. You know, it's pretty cool. And then the other. Oh, also forgot to mention open wheel race crater. Is also available if you guys want to create your own open wheel race stuff like that. A lot of people are waiting for that. And I have talked talked about all the new business battle modes. So you just increase in rewards stuff like that. I'll give leave a link for the Rockstar Newswire down below as well. And let's get on to the adversary modes. So this week we have also new adversary modes from Rockstar Games, which they call Diamond Adversary Series. You get like Juggernaut stuff like that, basically like bunker stuff, but it's in the Diamond Casino. So it's same game modes, but they just change location. They're also double money as well. If you guys want to do that, and lastly, and there's more to come this week's update. So it's kind of like um, a lot of cars, but also some. New new stuff in every part of the game. So there's two new arcade cabinets, which you, you can go buy in your arcade this week. So it so it's called Axe of Fury, and that is it. Axe of Fury is one of the things which they say it's in at liberty inside of that. 
and then there's also a classic arcade game called QUB3D. I don't know if that's an arcade game or not. And all Game Boy Classic Contemporary can be purchased from Pixel Emporium, which is your arcade laptop. And we also have some new collectibles, ABN events, and more, which I'll show you. So if you guys remember Solomon Richards, which is, which is from Story Mode, so he's a guy who's a executive film producer for Michael. You guys might remember that. So basically, there's ten. He got raided. His office got raided by thieves. So basically, there's ten props went missing, like movie props and stuff like that. You have basically it's like the action figures and stuff. So you have to find ten of those, and each of those gives you a pay for ten thousand dollars. So if you get ten of them, all the time you get a hundred thousand dollars, and they say will be a special reward at the end. So that's gonna kind of be pretty cool. I don't know what it is. But to find out, I just pick up the one beside which is a film reel, which is right beside the office, and the one they left left it there. So basically, if you enter here, this crime scene. So you have to go and find these ten props and get your reward when you collect the last one. So normally, well, when Rockstar releases GTA Online DLC in Newswire, they don't mention the bugs and stuff that they fix. So this week, let's wait for a second. Let's don't get to the bug section. Let's get to the discount section for this week. So with this, this week's discount, we got a yacht on 30%, which is pretty, you know, pretty understandable because, you know, the yachts are the basic the main thing here. And also the drone station, the arcade, and the master control terminal, they're all on 30% as well. And that is basically it, I think, for the discount so far. And also there's this 30% off on all arcade, arcade upgrades and modifications. Benny vehicle upgrades are 30% off and 40% off large garages, which is pretty cool. So let's summarize this week's stuff. Okay, so double GTA dollars and RP rewards on a super yacht life, the co-op missions, open wheel races, we said the Formula One race, Diamond Arab series, we have showed you like the juggernaut, stuff like that, but same as bunker. And then lastly the fixes and improvements that Rockstar made this year. So players can now return personal vehicles. So I'll show you guys. It's gonna be personal vehicles returning part, which is this one. You click that, you can return your personal vehicles like bikers, which is pretty pretty convenient. And I like what Rockstar did really much. And players can now own up to eight different properties, which is I don't know you. There's a limit in that, but I just know now. And basically, mashing the accelerator prior to starting a race will no longer a viable strategy to gain speed boost. Instead, player can only receive starting boost by timing the pedals press once go is shown or in the case of open wheel races when the countdown lights are removed so basically they removed the boost or gain speed boost I don't know what that is never done it before never um, noticed it before and also requesting pickles is more convenient because they added more spawn locations closer to you so that would be nice and when entering the diamond casino resort punters which now be told how long they will need to wait before the spin it like you again like a time countdown before you can spin again like each day so that's pretty good so you know when to come back it's not really convenient and they just stay stay tuned for the major g that like it hits later this year stuff like that probably the new highs new location and stuff which they mentioned and i thought it was going to come out today but they apparently didn't so that is all today for this week guys thank you so much for watching oh and the twitch prime benefits um priming accounts to so you can earn la latest weekly Two hundred thousand dollars bonus this week, and you need seventy-two hours for the money to come into your account, obviously. And special discounts to seventy percent off the Guarty X80 Proto, and eighty percent off the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire. So these are the discounts for the Twitch Prime Gaming or Prime Gaming, as what they have called right now. That is it for today's thing, guys. And I'm sorry I didn't go to casino because I didn't. I think there's no point. You guys don't know the ETR one is. I'll probably post a, post a picture beside it. And I'll leave a link on the newswire down below so you can just go read the details yourself. Okay, it's not that really hard, it takes like three minutes maximum. Really cool stuff to know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care and see you guys on Friday for some, you know, vehicle upgrades or 600 subs subscriber special video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.